I'm sorry to keep coming back to this. Remember, this is just an interpretation, so it could be wrong, and hopefully it is wrong. We've seen the display of the number eight in connection with these tire boys in this cave and the possible connection to this video. Again, there may be no connection, but it seems like there possibly could be. We had yesterday eight boys remaining in the cave, and now we've got eight boys outside of the cave. Four boys remaining there along with their coach. Now, this could, I don't know, be a representation of the coach. I obviously don't think so, but, you know, I'm just focusing on, on the 12 in the background at the moment. Now, out of the four remaining boys in the cave, looking at this video, two of them have X's on their mouths. Two things come to mind. Either they can't talk, or in this situation, they can't breathe. Now, one in particular has the colour lily behind its head extending outwards. And the colour lily is used to commemorate the dead of Easter 1916 and onward. But it's used to commemorate the dead. A possible interpretation and update from the previous one is that maybe out of the last four boys, two or three survive. But according to this video, if it is connected to that scenario that's going down at the moment, then one may not make it. We also have a large, what appears to be a large wound on the head of this figure. And I'm thinking we could be told something like he got hit by a rock or something, a falling rock. That's the, that's the scenario that comes to my head. The other thing about this color lily that extends behind this boy's head is the blades of grass. You've got two straight ones and a curly one. Now I'm seeing that as the number one and then this one is the number five. The other curve going behind the head here. That's just an interpretation, but I'm putting it out there. I don't know how old the group is inside of this cave, but it may be that a 15 year old doesn't make it. I don't want to, you know, obviously say that, but I'm just doing the interpretations here. Um, but again, there's two of them with the X's on their mouths, which, you know, may indicate two, but this one has the commemoration of the dead symbol behind it. This one also has a circle around its eye, and I don't know if that's indicating a wound to the eye or something else. It's also, it's also connected to this one. I don't know if that means they're connected in terms of, you know, family, brother, cousin, I don't know, but I also noticed that the last four, they appear to be, well, at least the last, these three figures here, they appear to be like the most pockmarked out of all the figures. Lots of dents on the face here, lots of dents on the forehead going down as well, and lots of dents as well, so I'm thinking maybe they're escape is not as smooth as the others and something goes wrong. Also they've been taking out the boys in groups of four. Um, I think if it was possible for them to take out five or six then they would have so it seems like they're limited to taking out four boys per day for some reason. So that means that the coach if he doesn't come out with the four boys tomorrow then he's going to 
be in there for the last day. So that will be on the 11th of July. At that time, Donald Trump will be meeting with NATO. So, um, you know, we'll see what rolls on after that. You guys, again, this is just an interpretation. I don't want it to happen. Um, and, uh, you know, still praying that all of them make it out and it's not connected to this video in any way. But if it is, then I'll be looking out on the news for anything like what I just mentioned happening. So, you guys, I'm just going to say, may the Heavenly Father bless you.